What's the difference between a screw and a nail? Well, other than its name and how it looks. Haha, he called you a freak. At least I'm not flat chested. Wow. That was kind of, uh, that was kind of mean. I'm sorry. Want a hug? Okay. I love you. Imagine they go off and get married and have kids that look like this. I read that one difference between a screw and a nail is how much pulling strength needs to take it out and how much it can bend before breaking. I heard a screw, it takes a lot of effort to get it out of a board by pulling it, but it'll break if you bend it too much. And a nail you can take it out easily when you pull it, but it can bend like crazy and not break. Let's put it to the test. First test, pulling strength. In this corner, cover is good. Step in the tree, we have screw. And now, in the opposite corner, wearing nothing but black, moves like grass, we have nail. Let's get ready and see who has more pulling strength. You know, this, my crotch is right above this hammer, so what can go wrong? Let's try and pull this out. Crap! Pure strength, power of nothing. Pull, baby, pull. <laughs> Nothing. Let's try the nail. Come on, deadlift. So the winner is screw. Test number two: bending straight. And in this court, and in this court. Okay, calm down. Let's pretend. Calm down. Hey, where's that noise? What's going on here? Everybody, stop it. Quiet. Everybody, stop. Quiet. So I was told if you smack it, it should snap. Ah, oh, look at that. It broke right off. Benish the nail. There it goes. So it took that many times to break it. As opposed to one smack and it broke the screw. Keep this in mind when you're building something to determine when to use screws or nails, or both.